Just a disclaimer, you do need Blockstrap for this. Another disclaimer, make sure you have the setting enabled on Blockstrap. I just open the Blockstrap menu, then go to Behavior, and make sure you have automatically update Blockstrap um, unchecked, then just click Save. So the download for this will be in the description, just download it. It's in a GitHub, and you're gonna see this Roblox downgrader.zip. All you wanna do is extract it, you're gonna see a folder called Roblox downgrader. So you wanna drag it out. You do whatever the zip, you can delete it. And you're gonna see this file called downgrade roblox.cmd. Just run it, and this is what you're gonna see. You're gonna see this program may receive updates. Anyways, just press any key, and it's gonna say you will be directed to rdd.latte.2. Do you want to continue? What it's basically doing is pretty much it's gonna redirect you to a website that you could download a different version of Roblox. And the reason why you're downloading a different version of Roblox is so you can actually use the fast flags. Um, I just tested it out with Blockstrap, it actually works, so yeah. Just press one, and it's gonna redirect you to this website. Now this is gonna look, you know, freaky at first, but this is actually trusted. Put it in the same folder as, that you have for the Roblox downgrader. So go to Roblox downgrader and make sure you save it inside that folder. Also do not change the name, leave it the way it is, just press save. So after that, you just wanna press any key. It's gonna ask you, are you manually downgrading or are you lazy? You can either manually downgrade in which you can manually do it or you could just have the program do it for you. I'm gonna do I'm lazy. Just press two and enter. And you're gonna see all this stuff. It's just extracting files and it's gonna downgrade the Roblox version and then just press any key. It's gonna automatically close and then go in game. So there's gonna be no cuts on this. I'm gonna go to here. Gonna connect to Roblox and it's gonna start Roblox. And as y'all can see, I have no textures. And I just loaded into the game too. See so yeah, this is no textures. If you don't trust this program and you don't want to run it, I'll also link this in the description. Uh, just go to it. It's going to download a .zip. It just pretty much has Roblox files in it. There's nothing bad in there. So just do the same thing. Just download the .zip. And save it anywhere. Doesn't matter. Just open the .zip. And then you want to go to your Blockstrap menu. Go to installation. And click open installation folder. Then go to versions and go to the latest version. You're going to see all these files and you're going to notice they're actually familiar. The thing that you just downloaded are just Roblox files, but from an older version of Roblox. So, so the ones you're replacing are these three files. Just drag this and click replace the files in the destination. And then just boot up Roblox. Do not start from here. You have to run it through Blockstrap, not through this application, because if you do run it, it's going to force you to update it and that's why it only works for blockstrap because it's gonna force you to update it also another thing to note if roblox updates again this method may be patched also another thing to note um this is not bannable Ro downgrading your roblox is not bannable at all it's kind of stupid for it to be bannable but it's not i've done this like a lot of times i've downgraded my roblox so many times especially on my headless account too and i've never been banned for doing it so it seems pretty stupid for someone to get banned for downgrading, but you do not get banned. I've done this so many times. I've even done it on my main myself and on this video, and I have not been banned. So for those who are saying this is bannable, this is not bannable. I've done it 